Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'll be making rice and peas in my kitchen. If you want to learn how to make rice and peas, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. So I got my ingredients here. I'm using one cup of red kidney beans. I'm using some salt. I'm using two cups of long grain rice. You cannot make rice and peas without some scallion. I got me some thyme, garlic, and scotch bonnet pepper. And I'll be using coconut milk powder. So guys, let's get started. So now guys, I'm going to wash my peas, removing the excess dirt from the peas. I'm just washing it properly and then I'm just gonna drain the water off and I'm just going to give it another wash just to make sure the peas is clean for cooking so guys wash your peas properly So after which, okay, it's good now, guys. See my piece. So let's move on to the other process. I'm going to add my, I forgot to mention my pimento seed and my garlic. So now I'm going to add it to the boiling water. And then I'm going to add my kidney pea, my peas. We're adding it to the water and I'm going to leave it so it could be the peas could be cooked. So I'm going to cover this and see you back in 30 minutes time. We're back. And let me check if my peas take a look. Let me check and it's not finished as yet. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water I'm using hot water from my kettle. And I'm gonna give this another 20 minutes. So see you guys back in 20 minutes time. You're back and I'm gonna check my peas to see if it's cooked. So let me check it. There it is guys, let me. And it's good now. So I'm just going to covered this and we're gonna go over to the other section at this point I'm gonna add my coconut milk powder and I'm going to dilute it with some water I'm gonna go in with some water hot water I'm just gonna go in and mix it out This is already looking perfect. The exact texture that I'm looking for. So now, let me come back here. I'm gonna go in with my scallion, scotch bonnet pepper and thyme. So it could give my pot added flavor and spice. And then I'm going to add my coconut cream. Just going to give this a start and leave it for 10 minutes time so that everything comes to a boil. I'm going to wash my rice now and I'm using 2 cups of long grain rice. It doesn't matter what rice you're using, you could use whatever rice you have to make your rice and peas. And I'm just giving my rice a good wash, removing the excess starch from my rice. Take a look at that guys. You want to make sure you drain the excess water from your rice before adding it to your pot. So guys, here is my rice all washed. Now I'm going to pour it in the pot here. 
Ooh, mm, smell. Look at that, guys. It smells so. It smells so good. Everything looks perfect so far, and now I'm just going to add my rice. You want to ensure that you have the right amount of water to cook your rice. I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of the water because I don't want any watery rice. I'm going to add me some salt to give my pot taste. And I'm going to stir. I'm going to give this a taste test. And it's perfect, guys. I'm going to add some butter. And I'm going to turn my stove down on low heat so that my rice can steam properly for 30 minutes time. And voila! Take a good look at my rice and peas. Look how shelly my rice is and my peas, everything together combined. So guys, I'm going to put this on a plate and it's time for us to dig in. And my dinner is served. I'm going to eat this with some curry goat and some pasta salad. So guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Comment below and tell me what you want to see me cook again in my kitchen. So guys, see you next time. Enjoy!